Hey guys, welcome back to Chrissy's Corner. So it is Aldi shopping day. Well, I just don't like grocery shopping period, but I got my quarter, I got my list, we're good to go. I'm gonna go away and get my shopping done. When I get home, I'll show you guys my haul and then I'll see what I can get done tonight as far as some freezer cooking. I'm not gonna do all of it. I have a massive list of some things I really wanna get done between today, tomorrow, and Saturday. So I'll show you guys what I got when I get home and then I'll show you what I was able to cook and freeze and put in my new freezer. All right guys, check you in a minute. Okay guys, we are back from Aldi. I've unloaded everything. Um, I have the groceries kind of separated out between the kitchen table and my counters and excuse my ever under construction kitchen cabinets um, in the process of painting. So anyway, I'm just gonna first start off by showing you what I spent. This was the total, $113.95. That was a little bit over what I had budgeted. I did buy a few things that were not on my original list. However, um, that's actually not bad considering um, what I got for that amount of money. Um, I plan to get, you know, at least a good two to three weeks of breakfast, lunches, dinners for my husband and myself, as well as quite a load of freezer stuff. Like, that's totally separate. So, I'm just going to go ahead and show you and let you decide for yourself. I think I got quite a lot for $113. Okay, we're going to start with the kitchen table. This is just some random stuff. This is some tater tots. I normally do not buy like frozen french fries and stuff. We usually eat just sweet potatoes, that kind of thing. But I decided to divide this bag up and I'm going to make two of one of my husband's favorite, I guess what we could call cheat meal casseroles, which is that tater tot casserole. It's got that cream of chicken or cream of mushroom soup and sour cream and ground turkey and onions and all that. I do like it. However, I just, I can't do much of that cream stuff very often. So this will be considered a cheat meal. So this will be technically get two meals out of this. Uh, two packs of taco seasoning mix, which were really, really cheap. This was just, we needed some new um, uh, sponges to clean with. Um, crushed red pepper, we go through this like it is just ketchup or something. I mean, we love it. We put on everything. Um, their ver or their brand of freezer bags. I got three of the English muffins. I have one in the freezer. I kind of have these sectioned out. I'm going to make one, um, turkey and ham and cheese sandwich freezer sandwiches. I'm going to make one, uh, box that is like, um, turkey sausage egg and cheese breakfast sandwiches and then i'm gonna make one i've never done this one before i'm gonna do a frozen peanut butter and jelly i know that sounds so gross but i keep reading they're actually not that bad and my husband loves peanut butter and jelly so i'm gonna make up all these peanut butter and jelly and then freeze them and we will see what the verdict on that is um two of my favorite things in the world at aldi they're thin crust pizza packs it is two thin crusts um comes with sauce you just have to add your toppings like your cheese and your pepperoni i love the thin however i did also get one of the original which has this big bubble crust so right now in the freezer i already have like four frozen pizzas that i cut up in half that are all pepperoni so i'm gonna do two barbecue chicken and then i might even do these two um like chicken alfredo something different use some spinach and some onions um here are all my fit and active whole wheat tortillas I plan to make breakfast burritos out of these with ground turkey, sausage, eggs, cheese, and salsa. Um, I did get flour tortillas for the small ones. I really wanted wheat for the small. They didn't have any, so I went ahead and got these. I'm going to do a bunch of chicken in the crock pot with some salsa and cheese, and I'm going to make soft chicken soft tacos that I'm going to freeze. So I could make this whole batch and freeze these. Um, and maybe I'll make just a couple of regular taco meat uh, freezer tacos. Okay, so coming over to my countertop with my produce meats and cheeses we'll start with the produce um got a package of bell peppers i'm gonna make some stuffed bell peppers with quinoa meat tomatoes that kind of thing i got two broccoli crowns i chop these up and just throw them in anything uh, baby spinach i will mix it with salads i'll put it in the eggs i'll put it in the burritos i put it in our spaghetti i put baby spinach in everything this was the only thing that they had as far as romaine i guess we're still trying to recover from the romaine scare i normally don't like the pre-bagged already cut stuff but we're having taco salad one night so i'm going to mix this with the baby spinach and we'll get you know one meal out of that bag um oh they were out of sweet potatoes guys my sweet potatoes so i ended up buying red potatoes um they're not as good for you but they're you know they're small and and i'm sure i can find something good to do with them um big bag of red delicious apples a spaghetti squash two tubs of light sour cream two big packs of the chicken breast tenderloins like these really big packs 
three packages of the Fit and Active Fresh Ground Turkey. These are actually uh, 1.2 pounds each, so slightly over a pound. Um, and usually, sometimes if I'm really feeling frugal, I can squeeze quite a bit out of half of a pound of meat. So anyways, got three of those. Uh, this is another cheat meal item, cheese ravioli. I find it's kind of good to have cheat meals. So if you know you want something yummy and it's the end of the week or it's the weekend and you've done good, say, eating healthy all week, um, you don't necessarily have to go out to have a cheat meal. You can have a cheat meal at home, and it's probably still better than what you would get when you go out. But I'm all for going out. Don't get me wrong. I'm probably going to do Taco Bell after this. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is cheese ravioli. I put it with um, a little marinara sauce and sometimes some ground turkey, and it's just really good. Um, package of shrimp. This is kind of my new favorite go-to, guys. I will defrost it and put it on a grill top on the top of my stove and do some Tony Zatteries or Zatarans seasoning on top of it and then serve it just like over beans and rice and some tortillas over salad. It's really good go-to. Um, this is the breakfast sausage. One I will ground up and put in for the burritos and the other I will slice up into actual patties to make with those English muffin breakfast sandwiches. Um, my cheeses, I got two things of the sharp cheddar, two things of the mozzarella. The mozzarella is slightly more expensive than the cheddar, but these are for all of our pizzas and these are for um, our burritos. A package of turkey breasts. I'm also gonna use these in the McMuffin freezer sandwiches. So there's all my produce, meat, and cheese. And lastly, um, our canned goods and some other miscellaneous things. This is coconut oil. This is not exactly what I would buy like that I use for my face or whatever, but as you can see, it's with some baking cocoa and four cans of black beans. And if you can guess, I make black bean brownies with these ingredients. I know it sounds gross, but they're really, really good. So I decided these beans were a really good price. I decided to get these, get the coconut oil, get the baking cocoa. I'm going to make probably two big pans of the brownies, cut them up, wrap them up, and freeze them so we have some dessert go-tos. Um, this looked really good. Chipotle ranch. My husband loves anything chipotle. I'm not a huge fan of just dousing ranch on everything but maybe that won't be too bad this is a cream and mushroom Ugh. this is for that cheat meal of the tater tot casserole that i talked about earlier this is the quinoa this one is rosemary and olive oil and this one is roasted red pepper and basil that's what i will use to fill the bell peppers when i end up doing that along with these uh, diced tomatoes that i believe already have with seasonings fire roasted and one is basil garlic and oregano uh, two things, a marinara sauce between us having spaghetti squash one night and having ravioli one night and having, um, you know, just anything else that requires marinara, I do get two. Um, and normally, once again, this is not something I normally buy. I buy almond butter, but I'm going to try the peanut butter and jelly freezer sandwiches just for my husband. So if he's at home and needs a good snack, you know, it's something he can do easily and pull out of the freezer. Um, of course, a jar of salsa. This is something else also we go through super fast. This wasn't on the list, but my husband really likes applesauce in his lunches, and this was a strawberry applesauce. I'm sure it's probably higher in sugar, even though it says no high fructose corn syrup. We will see about that. Um, another one of our favorite all-time snacks, we eat it on the weekend, I put it in our lunches, is the sweet and spicy Cajun trail mix. This stuff is super yummy. So you saw me on the chip aisle. Um, I kind of did good, kind of did bad. I wasn't supposed to get chips, but I got the good chips. These are blue corn gluten-free made with sea salt, and these are the multi-grain um, gluten-free with sea salt. That's another thing we really like chips and salsa as a snack, so it's not the best, but it's not the absolute worst. Um, and lastly, I got four dozen eggs. Their max is six, and I'm not quite to the point yet where I'm going through six. Um, it is just my husband and myself, but I do, like I said, I do a lot of freezer prep. I do a lot of ahead cooking that I really plan to make this stuff stretch, you know. So anyway, one more quick recap. All of our stuff here, all of the produce, the meats, the cheeses, and then lastly, just our miscellaneous items, all of our tortillas, I guess you could say bready items, pizza crust, seasonings, um, potato stuff, and taco seasoning. So guys, once again, for $113, that is quite a lot of food in my opinion. So anyways, I'm gonna get cooking. I'm not gonna kill myself tonight. I do still have to get go to work tomorrow. So I'm gonna see what I can just do really quickly here in the next few minutes to freeze up and then I'll show you what I ended up coming up with. And then tomorrow I'll do another freezer cooking video. And then the last day, hopefully Saturday, I will finish it up and I'll show you 
everything that I was able to get out of this grocery list for meals and for freezer food items. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks. Okay, guys, we are making good progress. I'm really tired already. It's just been a couple of hours. I've got about five pounds of my ground turkey done. I did a dozen eggs with one of the rolls of sausage, and I kind of goofed and used up too many of the McMuffins for the pizzas, and so these will go into burritos, and then I'll have an extra roll of sausage or something else. This is a whole bunch of carrots, red onion, and garlic that I sauteed up. I like to put this in our spaghetti sauce that I'll be kind of assembling tomorrow. This is a box of quinoa slash rice mix that I will put in our stuffed bell peppers to freeze. And this is how the um, mini pizzas came out. It's just the McMuffin with sauce, cheese, pepperoni, and then I froze a whole bunch of them, and I left out two for myself, and they're actually really good. Coming over here real quick just to show you, I'm fixing up to turn these, making a whole bunch of pancakes. These are in the skillet, and got one more batch in here, and then if I feel like it, I might tackle my black bean brownies and maybe assemble the tater tot casserole. So we'll see how far I get, but we're making good progress. Y'all, I am calling it for the night. I am so tired. I'm not even really sure what time it is. I did get quite a bit done. Um, it's weird because I got some things done that I wasn't going to do until tomorrow. And then, um, I forgot where I was going with this. Anyway, <laughs> didn't get all done, but got close. Um, I will show you tomorrow when I get at what I actually did. Um, but I go ahead and tell you, I did a whole bunch of pancakes. I made up a whole bunch of spaghetti meat sauces. I did two crockpot chicken dinners, which really wasn't on the list for today. Um, so tomorrow will kind of be like an assembly. I'll make my breakfast burritos. I'll make my soft tacos. I still have the beans in the crockpot. So tomorrow I'll need a crockpot chicken, make it the chicken soft tacos. And then tomorrow I'm going to tackle the black bean brownies and my pizzas that's all gonna be tomorrow in the morning so I'm really hoping to get up and get a start on it and have it done my mom will be here at one so between finishing the freezer cooking and cleaning the house and getting the guest bedroom ready for her I'm gonna have to start kind of early and um you know chug that coffee so I'll see you guys in the morning Hey guys, welcome back. So it's actually Monday afternoon. Um, I finished all of my freezer cooking, all my meal prepping, all that kind of stuff. Shut it down. Was going to do this conclusion video right after that. Um, my mom came over for the weekend. It was her birthday. We went and took her to see Mary Poppins, which was wonderful, by the way. If you haven't seen it, please go see it. Um, so I just want to show you at the tail end of this video everything they got out of that Aldi grocery haul, which was $113. So keep that in mind when I'm fixing to show you cost me $113 at Aldi. So if you guys have stuck with me this far, awesome. We are almost done. Let me show you what I got done for my freezer. Okay, you guys, really quick, I'm going to run you through what I got done from that Aldi haul. Okay, I'm just going to start here. <laughs> um, I did two of the tater tot casseroles that I mentioned that I referred to as kind of like our cheat meals. Um, this is just cheese to put on top afterwards. I actually got two pans of stuffed bell peppers out of all my ingredients. I didn't think I had enough, but I did. I got, oh gosh, one, two, three, four, five, maybe like six of these half pizzas. I did half barbecue chicken and then I did half just regular pepperoni. I like to do them in halves. I cut the crust in half because if it's just me or if my husband is just not going to be home or he's doing something else for dinner, um, it's easy to do these uh, kind of just for one person. Um, this is a pan. Oh, this bag actually needs to go over here. This is my black bean brownies. I know they're not wrapped for well, you guys. I ran out of saran and ran out of parchment paper right towards the end, but it's three bags of my black bean brownies, which we will use. They're really good when they're defrosted you heat them up put some ice cream over them really really good healthy go-to uh, dessert um, I got a bag I made a big bag of chicken soft tacos I crock potted a bunch of chicken um, did meat cheese and jalapeno soft tacos just regular all that meat I had cooked I got four big bags of kidney beans that I did in the crock pot um, I actually did four bags of this Spaghetti meat sauce. One is in the refrigerator right now defrosting. We're going to have spaghetti squash, I think, tonight. Um, I got a nice big bag of these mini pizzas. This is what I ended up using a bunch of the English McMuffins for, and they came out really good. Two bags of protein pancakes. This was just what's in the deep freeze. I have another bag that's actually in the freezer. By the way, the Kodiak brand protein pancakes with chocolate chips thrown in are super good. Super yummy. Um, and they're very high in protein, so... 
Of course, I think I showed you these PB&J sandwiches. My husband tried one and ended up loving it, so that was good. Um, two bags of the chicken, I guess what you could call, call Chipotle Crock-Pot Mix. Basically, what I did was I took that Chipotle ranch dressing and just poured it over a whole bunch of red potatoes, red onion, green beans, and chicken breast. And I'll pop it in the crock pot one day and just let it cook all day and kind of see, you know, how that goes. Um, so basically, guys, just a quick step back. <laughs> this is quite a lot of food, especially considering it's just me and my husband. However, my sisters do stop by on occasion. We'll have other friends over for dinner. So I'm really excited to see how far this stretches. Like I said, this was my $113 Aldi haul. I would be super tickled if this actually lasted me until our vacation which we're leaving on January 19th. So we shall see, guys. Let me know what you thought of the video. I'm so sorry it was so long and I didn't actually show my recipes. I just wanted to kind of do from beginning to end the cost of the groceries, where I got them, what I ended up doing, and what the final product for my new chest freezer looked like. Thank you so, so much for staying with me this long, you guys. Please put any questions in the comments in the uh, box below and I will see you later.